This one's going to be on XF dashboard. Is XFC's version of GNOME Shell, I'll say. It's not fully completed, but you can still use it for what it is right now. Um, so let's bust this out here. So you can do the same stuff like uh, launching applications. So let's say, for example, you type in like mousepad or something. All right. Let's say a file manager. Let's spell it right. There you go. File manager. And let's do another one. Dead beef. All right. So you can, uh, you know, do a keystroke launcher for your applications by name and stuff like that. So not that difficult. Um, by default, when you activate it, if you have application open, they'll show you this view here. Right, and then you can select the uh, applications. So let's say I select that, and now this one is uh, focus now. So on and so forth. If you select this one, and this one is focus. Um, what you can do in the GNOME shells there. Uh, if you want to, what else is there? Let's activate this again. On the side here, the left side, these are your um, either your active application or your launcher icons that you can do. Right over here, this is your workspace. They don't have a button to add like another workspace and it's not dynamic like uh you know you have in gnome shells where it'll automatically close down if there's nothing on that window but this one you can set it to a assign um you know how many workspace you have open so right now this top one here this is our first workspace this is our second one so on and so forth uh you can actually drag i think you can drag let me see here if you want to drag this one uh to the next one then you can drag it there Let's say I want to drag this music one here to the third workspace, and there you go, right? You can zoom in on that, so on and so forth. Um, and now you have you know the three applications on different workspaces, and you can toggle between them just by hitting the hotkey and going to it. Uh, so that's it for that, really. Anything else here? So if you do this again. Let's say I want to have a. Uh, you know well right here these are your launchers if you want to add another one in here uh, it's pretty simple um, they have th these two things on the top I don't know what you call it but this one says Windows and this one says applications there you go Windows and application these two icons here so if you switch over to that uh, basically you can browse all your applications you have and these are different categories so let's say for example I want to um, what do I got in here let's say in office here I want to add uh, LibreOffice Writer to my shortcuts over here on the left side, right? All you gotta do is just drag this and then you drop it in here. And now you have this icon here, right? Uh, what else are we gonna do? Let's say I do Documents uh, Viewer here. I wanna drag this one too. So I can drag it there. And that's pretty much how you would add the um, icons uh, or the launcher shortcuts here. You can move it around too. Let's say I want the terminal at the end. I can do drag that down. If you want to remove it, um, all you do is drag this and you drag it up top to this trash can here. And that's how you will remove um, your launcher icon uh, from being on the side here. And that's pretty much it really if you want to use it. It's not that hard. Um, as far as for assigning the hotkeys, all you got to do is open up your keyboard. Uh, shortcuts here right and just create a new one um, what was it called here XF dashboard so all you gotta do is add a new one and call it uh, XF dashboard and then assign a hotkey I'm using control space for this so whenever I hit control space this will pop up um, and you know you can do all the stuff I just said really it's not that hard now the thing with this one is um, if you just launch it with the command line only it's kind of slow so you want to run it as a daemon also if you're if you're going to use this like full time you want to run it as a daemon on startup so how do you do that here let's close this one off open up your oops what the hell was that do we have our settings here settings manager there you go and in here um, they should have like a startup sessions in here, startup sessions and startup for XFC here, and in here you go to um, application startup, and they should have a field for it was an XF dashboard already, but basically the command if you can read this uh, little pop up window here, uh, basically it's just XF dashboard dash D for daemon, and 
that will keep it running in the background so whenever you need to launch this thing it, it launches really quick if you do it this way right so that's what um, I'll probably say you do is you add that in there if it doesn't already exist you just check the box uh, if it doesn't exist you just you know give it a name for example let's do this here XF dashboard right and then the command is XF dash board dash D and hit OK and make sure it's checked in and, and that's it that's all you gotta do uh, not that hard but since I already have that one I'm gonna remove it here um, so that's it and then all you gotta do is reboot or something and I'll load up the uh, daemon and you should have a better experience when you're launching this with the hotkeys now right uh, I think next time I want to show you how to do hot corners on XCFC since um, you know you could do that in here and here too anyways that's it for XF dashboard if you want like a gnome shells type of launcher on your XFC machine uh, there you go actually it works with other desktop environments too but you know I, I don't really use the other ones that's it for this one